Hi guys. Um, so I had a dream two nights ago. I had a dream two nights ago. And um, it has two meanings. I, um, it's very heavy. Uh, I feel, I feel a huge burden on my heart, a huge, um, just like grieving in my spirit. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this in the middle, but okay. So, um, I was a spectator for this dream. It was like I was watching a movie, but I was in it. And everything was so dark that it was thick. Like a thick, heavy, heavy darkness. And it was all water. And I was standing or hovering or I was on a boat. And it was a very nice, like a 40-foot um, fishing boat-esque. It's like a fishing boat, but like with a kind of a, a rich feeling to it. It had like a nice flooring um it had rails like stainless steel rails um and there were probably about 10 crew members and uh the waves were so rough that all you can see were like white caps and black water and then the black everything else you couldn't see you couldn't see beyond what maybe like 20 feet out into the ocean and these um, waves were coming up and kind of going they weren't covering the boat but they were they were coming up enough that the water would get on where you stand and I'm not familiar with boats so I don't know the terminology so forgive me but um, the crew were dressed in like a white t-shirt and white pants and they were very tattered and worn and this, from, from how the waves were, were so rough, you would think the boat would be really rough and flinging you right, right and left, but it wasn't that bad. It was rough, but it wasn't as rough as it actually would be in real life. Now, these people, they were, all of them were Asian, all of them. And I don't live in an area where... There, there's not a whole lot of Asian people in my area. And I've never dreamed in Asian before. Like, like with all Asian, like all of them were Asian, all of them. And um, they were not Chinese Asian. They were the darker skinned, um, narrower face, Islander Asian. And um, they would run one would run to the side and throw up. Another one would run to the side and throw up. And these were like skilled seamen who are normally on the water. They shouldn't be puking in a storm. Well, the captain, and I, I felt my spirit, that I knew the captain and they knew the captain knew what he was doing because he was, he was bringing us somewhere, but somehow he knew where to go and where to steer, even with how thick the darkness was. And there was no light around, no, no light of land, nothing. And, um, somehow our captain got us to the dock. Now he got us turned and parked at the dock with all these waves on um, there. The waves are going over the dock, washing over the dock. And I pull out of the dream and, um, I'm watching these guys get off the boat one by one by one, probably about 10 people. Um, and then it rewinds and you can hear the rewind sound and I hear nobody noticed. And then I'm watching it again and I see a wave come and a guy get off the boat and they're all getting off one by one. Normally at this kind of weather, they would be helping each other off the boat, but they were all just thinking about themselves getting off the boat, running run by one. Some people fell and slipped on the dock. Um, because of the water and they, I see this guy get off the dock. He slips and falls and a wave grabs him and takes him out to sea. 
and then it rewinds to him getting off the boat and then I see the wave grab and it rewinds three times and I hear nobody noticed nobody noticed nobody noticed and this guy's gone forever now um you probably already can tell what what the stream is, means but there's another meaning to it I'll get to afterwards but these guys were all dressed in white we as a church we're the bride of Christ we're dressed in white and right now our clothes are tattered we want to get off this boat we're puking our guts out because we're sick and tired of being here and dealing with all this stuff dealing with all the darkness dealing with all the evil and we want to get off we trust our captain but we're all kind of not helping each other nobody's nobody's coming up next to each other and helping each other get through what we have to get through right now and um the the guys get to the dock and they're nobody's helping each other off off the boat they're all thinking about themselves thinking about how sick they are thinking about how much they want to just go and get out of here nobody's helping each other and a guy gets taken by the darkness by the water and gets swept out to the ocean nobody notices nobody notices one of that's that's a Christian that's a brother in Christ that just got taken by the darkness and nobody noticed because they're all too concerned about what's going on with themselves now the other part to this I'm gonna link it below um, it's a video um, this is like makes my heart beat really fast um, this guy had a dream the same night I had a dream and I mean the same night I had this dream this is the dream he had and remember I said they were like a like a islander Asian one takes gets taken and nobody notices okay one Asian island gets taken and nobody notices now whether that be Taiwan or Hawaii or both I don't know but I think we need to be praying even harder and if you are in a small group get them praying with you if we pray together jointly where two or three are gathered in God's name he will be there we gotta guys we're we're we think in America that we're safe and um, we can go about our lives and just live like we we can just live normal it's not gonna happen and if you think that's going to happen, you're completely delusional and you need to go read your Bible because we are in the times, the most amazing times we'll ever be in other than when we're in heaven. So it's time to start speaking truth and speaking hard things, even if it might, even if it might rub you wrong, think, figure out why, why it's rubbing you wrong. Because then you're going to figure out you probably need to hear it. So anyways, I hope you have a good day, guys.